Right, we're going into a situation this weekend that's very scary for a whole lot of people. I want to read you a quote from a veteran forecaster today. He says, we are in uncharted territory here. I've never seen anything like this. I'm at a loss for words to describe what this storm could do. Hurricane Sandy is threatening to crash into the east coast of the U.S. after transforming into a huge and rare super weather system that some forecasters are calling Frankenstorm. Uh, it's a massive storm, a thousand miles across. 66 million Americans are bracing for impact. Hurricane Sandy lumbering up the East Coast and threatening to come ashore as an unprecedented superstorm. And the storm is so wide it could cover two thirds of the United States. The fierce winds at the center cover an area almost the size of Texas. Hundreds of thousands of people have been evacuated from low-lying parts of Manhattan for one of the biggest storms in history barreling towards New York. This is the apocalypse. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit! Our train! You go! Oh. I hit my car! Oh, the car! I got that all on film! Oh. This is not the whole. Her car just got crushed. Get up, let's get away from oh, the window. There's a fire. There's a fire, Dad. Uh, there ain't nothing I can do about that. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. You're looking at pictures from the National Guard, the coastline of Seaside Heights, houses buried in the sand, sand washed into homes at least 100 yards from the normal high tide line. The Jersey Shore suffered what New Jersey Governor Chris Christie describes as unthinkable devastation. Practically no street left that makes this point accessible. Um, there are fires burning in the area. this picture which apparently is a shark swimming in the streets of New Jersey. The Seaside Heights has been destroyed. It's the amusement park right along Seaside Heights there and boy it is just absolutely heartbreaking mm -hmm. and you wonder you know I mean it, it's gone. It is it is gone. The roller coaster you know the Ferris wheel in the ocean at least 59 people are now dead. 6.23 million customers still without power. National Guard troops are being dispatched to places like Hoboken, New Jersey. The destruction too widespread for words. Home to the longest non-commercial boardwalk in the state of New Jersey, and you can see the remnants of it at the waterline. The pounding surf tore off each and every board. That is the lower end of Manhattan. We have not seen anything like this in nine years. In August of 2003, the great blackout happened in the Northeast and New York City went black. This is the next time. The great storm of 2012 has done it this time. Lower Manhattan remains eerily dark and partially underwater. Across the Northeast, more than six million Americans are without power. Parts of New York City underwater. In New York and New Jersey, people lost their lives to a superstorm of freakish dimensions. People are wondering why this is happening. Oh, I missed it! What's going on? I don't know what's going on. It's the hurricane. What the hell is this? FDNY just tweeted more than 50 homes have been destroyed. The fires are still burning. Firefighters are having a problem getting a stream of water on the fires, unfortunately. They, the they day. can't get there. They can't get water on it, and the winds that are is whipping scary. the flames. It's uh, really, you know, wow. the worst case scenario. All over. There's water everywhere, and uh, embers flying. It's like the apocalypse is hit. I mean, 
like there's that fire. We've evacuated. This is real. Downtown, the wind ripped the entire facade off this building, exposing the apartments inside like a dollhouse. First time since 9-11, bridges and tunnels leading in and out of the city closed. All of the New York City area airports are also out of commission. tanker ship washed up on the shores of Staten Island. This is a live look right there. What is a 14 foot storm surge, a 20 foot storm surge do? We're on a street. This is Front Street in Staten Island, Clifton section. This is a tanker on the street and a 200 foot long tanker that was just picked up and sat here as the water went out. Anyone who says uh, there's not a dramatic change in weather patterns, I think is denying reality. A powerful magnitude 7.4 quake has killed dozens and injured many others in Guatemala. The quake struck Wednesday morning. It was about 20 miles deep. The damage was reported in almost every state in Guatemala, with shaking felt as far away as Mexico City. The quake caused landslides and turned buildings into rubble. Although the quake lasted just 40 seconds, it was enough to transform the landscape. In the Guatemalan capital, the fear of aftershocks drove thousands of people into the streets. This is the biggest earthquake we've had since the one that occurred in 1976. This gives you an idea of what we're facing. How many more lives will be claimed as a result of the earthquake is uncertain. But there's a chance this could become one of Guatemala's worst natural disasters in years. Second storm moving in on an already battered East Coast. It was just nine days ago when Superstorm Sandy cost the eastern seaboard dozens of lives and billions in damages. And tonight, fresh stress and pain as a snowy nor'easter rips across New England down to Maryland and Delaware, blowing sleet and snow into Sandy's open wound. Winds gusted up to 100 kilometers an hour, and up to 20 centimeters of snow fell in some parts. Around three quarters of a million people are now without power or water, living in freezing conditions. Well, even as we were cleaning up the damage from yesterday, Sydney has been belted by another brief but ferocious spring storm. The violent sill whipped through after lunch, lasting just long enough to drench our royal visitors. Well, Charles and Camilla escaped a tornado warning as they left Hobart, only to be caught up in Sydney's unpredictable spring weather. Outside, something extraordinary was going on too. A huge electrical storm right over the Prince's Path. It was like the heavens opened up just on cue. Many parts of Sydney are being lashed by severe storms right now, packing strong winds, tearing down trees and leaving one man trapped in his car by live power lines. The Bureau recorded 107 kilometre an hour winds as well as hail and heavy rain. 18 millimetres fell in just 15 minutes at Penrith. At Campbelltown, the wind picked up debris, launching it through the air. It also hit Bankstown, Liverpool and Ingleburn, dumping large hailstones. In Venice at the moment, it's difficult to tell the difference between streets and canals. The Italian city is languishing under one and a half metres of flood water after a weekend of heavy rain. Experts say there have only been six floods of this depth since 1872. Venetians are used to high tides, but they have rarely seen anything like this. On Sunday morning, they woke up to a city submerged by a metre and a half of water, one of the highest tides on record. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 7.0 struck Myanmar. That's according to the U.S. Geological Survey. 
The quake of magnitude 6.8 hit early today, more than 100 kilometers northwest of Mandalay, with more than a dozen people dead and 40 injured. Two magnitude 5 aftershocks quickly followed. The initial tremor was felt as far away as the Thai capital Bangkok. It's said to be the biggest earthquake in the region for 20 years. Late last night, this suburban community outside of Indianapolis was rocked from their beds when a blast obliterated two homes and ignited several others. Nearly 200 people were forced to quickly flee into the streets, an explosion so intense, at least two people are now dead and at least eight others injured. The blast could be felt for miles, firefighters rushing to the scene. Witnesses say you could hear the screams in the night, families huddled outside. But people say they could hear and feel it close to three miles away. What used to be five homes less than 24 hours ago are nothing more than rubble. At least 80 homes severely affected by the blast. Authorities are working with federal authorities here in Indianapolis to try and figure out exactly what happened and what caused the massive devastation. The air raid sirens going off are really the topic of the day here in Jerusalem. And I can tell you, a lot of people that I've been speaking to here on the ground were absolutely terrified by what happened. Keep in mind that there's never been a rocket fired on Jerusalem since 1970. We've heard and felt the thuds of Israeli strikes continuing on the Gaza Strip. And turning to developments overnight in the Middle East, violence erupted for the third day. Nearly 100 Israeli rockets slammed into Gaza. Anyone who says uh, there's not a dramatic change in weather patterns, I think is denying reality. Israel's bombardment of Gaza continues with plumes of smoke rising and explosions echoing across the city. In Rome, riot police fired tear gas and charged. There were similar scenes repeated elsewhere in Italy too. Today, we learned some facts about how this Earth is changing and how fast. Polar ice sheets in Greenland are melting at five times the pace of just a few years ago. New research concludes that Antarctica is melting. The sea level rise is happening 60% faster than the United Nations predicted in 2007. They say this amounted to a tsunami on the surface of the sun. Protests against the Egyptian president, Mohamed Morsi, are spreading beyond Cairo. Bondi died red. Four kilometers of Sydney's coastline transformed by an algal bloom. Large areas of Wales and England remain on flood alert after several days of almost non-stop heavy rains caused devastation in many parts of both countries. The death toll from the storms has risen to four, and around 1,400 homes have been evacuated. A destructive storm that built up the city this afternoon is still bringing heavy rain and winds up to 125 kilometers an hour. Thousands of homes are without power. The wind here on St. George's Terrace was incredibly strong, gusts of more than 100 kilometers an hour. At one point, the city center was brought to a standstill. 
Something called an atmospheric rift is now hitting the West Coast. It's like opening up a fire hose 375 miles wide. Now the storm's taking a look at them. There are three back to back to back aimed directly at that area from about Reading.